So for your ePortfolio lot logo project, I'm recommending the use of the Wix logo maker. Uh, so to kind of support that, um, I'm going to just walk through a couple features of this. So when you get to the URL, uh, you'll just click Start Now. And if you've never used Wix before, you can log in with your Gmail or Facebook. If you have used Wix, like the website side, the logo maker's the same thing. Um, so I'm just going to click this, or you can click New Logo. Um, since this is an ePortfolio, I'd recommend using just your name. And depending on the kind of logo that you want, you have the option to add a tagline later. Um, so I'm just going to do that. Uh, so Wix being Wix, they have some templates. So they have a teaching portfolio for uh, if that's your purpose, and then they have a couple of writing portfolios. I'm going to go with this one. And then Wix being Wix, they have some adjectives for us. So fresh, tacky. timeless and then what it'll do is it'll give you a few screens of kinds of logos um, and based on what you select and what you don't you'll see in a second you'll get like a, a wider menu of options so among these that looks like a free t-shirt uh, I don't like either I actually kind of like the fonts on that. I like that one a lot. Uh, I kind of like that graphic. So this would be for a website. Next. And then based on what you put in in those first screens, it'll run this. And then you'll have a handful of options available to you going to scroll through. So basically what I would recommend here is choosing a general shape and a general font. Um, you'll be able to change colors later and even fonts later. So if there's a shape you really like, like I kind of like this rainbow, but I don't love that font, I can select that. I don't like the colors either really. But so I can select that just for the rainbow. Um, I'm going to keep scrolling here. I kind of like these business cardy ones. Anyway, I'm just going to pick one. I'm going to pick this one and chop it up just so y'all can see all the options. So first thing is um, Wix will give you some color palettes. Uh, so you're not obligated to kind of create a color palette from scratch. It seems like the first color in the palette, no, that's not right. Uh, so it's not clear in the color palette what color coordinates to what item. So I think choose a general palette and kind of, that's obnoxious. I'm just going to pick one so I can move along. Okay. So text, I'm going to customize. I'm going to change this font. So as we read, um, different fonts, I think the phrasing was have different personalities. And that's really just, that really comes through social practice. Like, 
it seems like kinds of businesses tend to pick a certain number of fonts. Um, so whatever font I select, either explicitly, like if someone's attended to fonts, they know this, or tacitly, um, maybe someone who's less attended to fonts may not see this. Um, but whatever font I pick is kind of suggestive. Oh, that looks very 70s. Uh, I know I want a sans serif. It's kind of a Montserrat I might like. I'm going to keep looking. Oh, Noto Sans. Yeah, I actually like that. So I'm going to center it. So now I have a font. I can change the text color on this. Okay, I want black. Whoa. Whoa. Okay, and then I can do some things like curve it. Um, I actually don't want any curve. Perfect, so I can click on the number and input a number. Okay. So I want to change this. And by the way, so if you want to create your own color palette, you can go to Adobe, I think it's color wheel, color.adobe.com. And what it'll do, um, as we read in the color theory piece, different colors kind of denote um, different emotions. And so what you can do is set up a color harmony rule. So things can be monochromatic, meaning they're, f they're kind of on the same place on the color wheel. They can be complementary, meaning they're on opposite sides. They can be split complementary, double split complementary. Um, I'd like complementary colors, I think. Actually, I'm going to do triad. And so, I know I want a gold. Okay. I know I want things lighter than this. So I think I'm going to go with this blue, actually, to complement the gold. And I'm not, if you're color smart, that might be obvious. I'm not very color smart. Uh, and then for the background color, I'm actually going to go with white. Actually, I want a little bit grayer. And I actually think I want this blue a bit darker. Okay. So, after you do that, make all those customizations, just click Next. And then I would just click get it now. So you'll have these options. Um, and if you're doing like a logo for an internship or whatever, you can get boss to pay for these. For our purposes, just scroll down and click download the free version. And what you'll get is a fairly small logo. 
Um, for our purposes, that'll work just fine. Um, so that's Wix Logo Maker. Um, again, there are lots of others, uh, but this is one of them. And uh, let me know if you have any tech questions. I hope, I hope that was helpful. Okay.